What's up, fourth graders? Today's lesson is on identifying the difference between each term in a sequence or pattern. All right, first, let's talk about what some of these words even mean. A sequence is a list of numbers that follows a certain rule, and a pattern is a visual sequence that follows a certain rule. The terms of a sequence or pattern are the individual numbers or the individual pictures. And finally, the difference is the amount of change between each term. So let's take a look at our first example. The first example asks, what are the next two terms in the sequence? In order to find the next two terms, we need to analyze the terms and see what exactly is happening. Our first two terms are three and then six. To find the difference between them, we can subtract six minus three, which equals three. So the difference or the amount of change went up by three. Then the next term goes from six to nine, which we can see goes up by three again. We can subtract nine minus six to prove that, and that gives us three. And then it goes up by three again from nine to 12. So we see that our pattern is that it's going up by three each time. So to find the next number, all we need to do is add three onto 12. So 12 plus three is 15. So 15 is our next term. Then to find the second term, we add three more again, which gives us 18. So we looked at each term to see what it was going up by and found that it increased by three each time. And that's how we got 15 and 18 as our next two terms. Next, let's look at a visual pattern. Here we're given a pattern and asked, what is the next number in the pattern? The cool thing about visual patterns is that there are multiple ways to get to the same answer. So we're gonna look at a few different ways. First, if you look at it visually, you can see that each term in the pattern is adding on a bottom row to the previous pattern. And each bottom row is one more than the previous row. So the next pattern will be exactly what the previous one was, plus a new bottom row of five circles. Now we can add up all the circles and see that the number is 15. Another way is to look, to look at this pattern is to look at the sum of each row. So the first term just has one circle. The second term is one plus two. The third term is one plus two plus three. The fourth term is one plus two plus three plus four. So the fifth term would be one plus two plus three plus four plus five, which equals 15, like we've already seen. Lastly, another way to look at it is to look at the number that each pattern represents and to see what's happening to the numbers. So our first one is the number one. The next term has three circles. The third term has six circles. And the fourth term has 10 circles. Now let's look at the difference between each of these. The difference between one and three is two, goes up by two. From three to six goes up by three. And then from six to 10 goes up by four. So when looking at each of these differences, we see the difference is going up by one each time. It goes up by two, then three, then four. So the next one will go up by five. So 10 plus five gives us 15, like we've already seen. So to sum it up, when looking at sequences or patterns, you gotta find the difference between each term in order to identify or analyze what's happening and therefore predict the next term. Thanks for watching. Peace out. Created using Powtoon.